Hello, this is the user management demo for the Web Grants platform. The purpose of this demonstration is to guide your organization on how it can set up user profiles and associate them with grants to ensure timely and efficient management of these grants. Our demonstration will focus on three main functions. One will be user management on grants, two will be user management on applications, and three will be the alerts in the dashboard system. Starting with user management on your current grants, Within web grants, external organizations will need to actively manage staff assigned to grants. Please note that only staff members that are associated with grants will be able to see these active grants and engage in grants management processes. This would include submitting claims or what you had formerly known as reimbursements, requesting time extensions and scope changes to your grants, and then signing contracts. The main contact for a grant is called grantee contact in the web grant system. DRPT staff are the only users that can change the grantee contact, so if this person needs to be changed, please reach out to your DRPT program manager or appropriate contact. External users associated with the organization can add and remove additional grantee contacts to grants that are in the underway status. To do so, please follow the instructions. First, you will want to sign into Web Grants, and then when you sign in, you should see a very similar screen as to what is shown currently. You will want to navigate to the left side where as you go down, you will see a grants tab on the left side here. You will only be able to see grants when you click this. And it will show either current or underway. As you can see here on this one test grant here, the status shows underway, which is what you will be looking for for any active grants assigned to you. Navigate to the grant that you would like to assign staff to, and then you can click anywhere on the row. This will bring you to what is called the grants component screen, and this is where all grants management functions will be listed here that are available to you. These components show in general all the different uh, elements, but you will want to go to general information, which is under this highlighted row here. Clicking under general information will bring you to this screen here uh, that is labeled general information. This will show the information on your grant, the title of the grant itself, the status, year awarded, program area, and other relevant information. What you will want to do if you want to add that or ed edit any additional contacts is to click the green button here on the upper right. Clicking that will pull out this um, pop up screen here that will ask you to add any additional grantee contacts. This will then allow you to look for any active users in your organization that you would like to associate with the grant. So once you click the text box, a drop down will come through and you'll be able to look through any of the available names associated with your organization in order to add someone to your list. When you are ready, you can always click the green button and it will save, and that person will now be associated with this grant. The general information screen will show all external organization staff that are associated. So here in this, under additional grantee contacts, you now see that there is a new name that has been added in addition to the program officer and the grantee contact that was identified in the general information. All staff that are associated with the grant will now see, receive alerts within the web grant system and via email. You will want to repeat these steps for any grants that you have in the underway status to make sure that you have all appropriate contacts associated with it so they can receive updates. Next, we're going to look at user management on applications. So within web grants, external staff that are associated with a grant application will automatically be associated with the grant should it be awarded to its organization. In order to skip the step outlined in the user management on grants that we had just covered, applicants can add all staff at the time of application. So to do this, you would want to go back to referring the first seven steps on the instruction manual identified as web grants guides applications for funding. But as a reference, 
you will find all that information for your applications under this applications tab on the left side and you'll be able to look through the status of all your applications and be able to edit accordingly if you needed to but please refer to the applications for funding demonstration for more information the last uh, key function that we want to cover under user management will be alerts in the dashboard system External users are automatically enrolled in alerts for applications and grants that they are associated with. This means that external users will receive email alerts regarding status changes for anything that they are associated with, and they will be able to see these alerts within the dashboard. The dashboard build into web grants contains a wealth of knowledge in regarding applications and grants that external users are associated with. Though there are going to be several subcomponents of the dashboard, these instructions will focus on two work parts, work assignments and alerts. So you will be able to find the dashboard on the left side of the on the top tab here and clicking the dashboard will allow it to expand and you'll see various uh, functions of the dashboard. As I mentioned, there is work assignment. There's also calendar alerts my reviews, my site visits, and document repository. But let us start with work assignment. So if you click on work assignment, it will populate in, on this page will be a list of various information and action items that you need to address. Um, if you've already been in the system, you can also just navigate to the dashboard or you can just sign in automatically and it will pop up as the first screen when you enter into web grants. Starting with the approaching deadlines, this first field or table here covers any pending work items within, with deadlines that are within the next 30 days, and that is highlighted here for your reference. So any kind of contracts, grants, signatures, anything that has been assigned or you have been added as a contact, you should see in this field here. This can include application deadlines, negotiation deadlines, encumbrance deadlines, a status report deadline, and these status reports will be mandatory reports for open grants. But please note, DRBT may require status reports through web grants in the future. This will not be configured starting on December 1st. And then site visit deadlines. Uh, these are reports for any site visits associated with active projects or organizations, but this will also not be a function that will be launched on December 1st. And then finally, you may see review deadlines, and these are applications that are application reviews that are assigned to users that have pending deadlines for review. You can click anywhere on the row of the item in the approach and deadlines table to review the action needed. Um, you can also review to view any overview, overdue approaching deadlines. There is a blue button that is indicated right here in the upper right that says view overdue approaching deadlines. And when you click that, it would show any other uh, overdue deadlines that you might have in the field. The next field that you may have, depending on your dashboard, would be a contract signature section. Um, in this case, you may or may not have any um, available, but contract signature sections should include all contracts that need to be signed by the user that's logged in. So only certain external users are going to be able to sign contracts. And if that is something that you need to have permissions for, make sure you work with your grantee contact. The last key function we'll cover in this demonstration will be on alerts in the dashboard system. External users are automatically enrolled in alerts for any applications and grants they are associated with. This means that external users will receive email alerts regarding status changes for anything they are associated with, and they will be able to see these alerts within the dashboard. The dashboard built into web grants contains a wealth of information regarding applications and grants that external users are associated with. Though there are many subcomponents of the dashboard, these instructions in this demonstration will focus on two parts, work assignments and alerts. First, we will sign into Web Grants. And when you sign in, you will see automatically that you will be taken to your dashboard under the Work Assignments screen. The dashboard is the top tab on the left hand side of the screen here. And you can see, as we mentioned, the many subcomponents. 
Work assignment will be the first one that we cover. Here you will first see approaching deadlines section, and this will include any pending work items within deadlines for the next 30 days. This is noted in the heading here next to approaching deadlines saying next 30 days, as well as the description of the section where it says that it displays documents with due dates arriving in the next 30 days or overdue. This section can include application deadlines, negotiation deadlines, encumbrance deadlines, any status report deadlines or site visit deadlines, although those functionalities will not be launched on December 1st, and then review deadlines for any application reviews assigned to the user. If you would like to see any of these approaching deadline tasks, you will want to click on the row of the item in the table. Clicking that will provide information on the underway task, as well as what may need to be related or, or addressed in the information under grant components. However, clicking back, you can go and see under the dashboard work assignment again. There is also a button for any overdue approaching deadlines. This button is the blue button here on the upper right. And clicking that will allow you to see any overdue items that will be under your approaching deadlines in the same table here. The next section under this work assignment field is the contract signature, as you can see below the approaching deadlines table. This is for all contracts that need to be signed by the user who is currently logged in. Only exter certain external users that are able to sign contracts will ever see items showed up in this section. So this field may not be populated with any task or signature requests, depending on the user and their functions. You can click anywhere on the row of the item in the contract signature table to navigate to the contract that needs to be signed. And you will see as it is highlighted under green on the row that you would like to select, and you click it, and it will, Go ahead and populate to the page with information on the contract and it'll have information on what you need to sign and what signatures will be required. The next item under work assignment will be recent negotiations. And this is for any items that need to be what we call negotiated and items that may have been negotiated within the last 30 days. In web grants, the concept of negotiation refers to any DRPT staff initiated edits or changes to your application or grant that need to be made. This may include an application component, a claim or what we have referred to as reimbursements in the past, contract amendment requests, contracts and closeout forms. Under these negotiations, you may see that there's an item and it would be the same approach that you would want to click anywhere on the row of that item but at this time we don't have anything to negotiate in this field. The next field is under recent correspondence, and this section will include any correspondence regarding to an application or grant initiated either by DRPT staff or the external user, and this will cover anything within the last 60 days of activity. This may include requests for any information or clarification, sharing of information, and warnings of uh, project end dates or milestones that may be approaching. If you would like to see the recent correspondence, you need to just click anywhere on the row of the item to navigate to the component that needs to be edited. And there will be a function there that also allows you to reply to the message directly in this blue button here on the upper right. The other functions that we did mention include my sites visits, which will include any site visits that may be assigned to you depending on your grant project. And again, please note that DRPT does not plan to use site visits feature within web grants when it launches in December, but please, but may choose to utilize it in the future. So please be on the lookout for any changes when it comes to site visits. The last table here is under organizational compliance. And this table will include any information regarding any pending organizational compliance actions. This can include your FTA certifications and insurances documentation, web grants entity agreements, or any other documents that need to be on file for compliance purposes. If you have any kind of compliance items to address, you can click anywhere in the row again and be able to navigate to the component that needs to be addressed. This concludes the demonstration 
for user management for our web grants platform. If you are experiencing any technical difficulties or have any questions, we encourage you to please reach out to your DRPT program manager appropriate contact. Thank you so much.